so let's continue our process so right now after after I teach you how to generate um, your perfect uh, hacking scenario phishing email template by using the fish mailer after that right here uh, we have uh, set up our our host, uh, hosting uh, tanger account and uh, right now I will show you how to create our phishing subdomains okay and also how to set up our phishing web page by using the cloud uh, the cloud server we actually have uh, have done uh, this this step right here and everything is working and waiting for uh, for our victim and at the end right here we have just uh, to uh, to add uh, the, the last two steps by redirecting um, uh, our subdomains uh, to our hacking server and after that uh, sending our phishing email successfully so let's get started okay so after after opening my my hostinger account uh, again I will just click on manage right here and as you can see this is the main dashboard of my hosting account you'll just navigate to domains and you will see right here the subdomains so I will click on subdomains and I will create these three subdomains as you can see one for Facebook one for YouTube and also one for Outlook so I will start with the Facebook one and they click on custom folder for the subdomain and I will make the folder as Facebook okay so the subdomain has been created successfully and this is actually the folder of this subdomain and I will tell you what is the, what is the folder of this subdomain so right now let's create another one the YouTube and also I will make it YouTube right here so it has been created successfully so the last one will be Outlook and also the subfolder will be Outlook okay so right now our account actually is uh, is letting is allowing us to create uh, only two subdomains right now okay so if uh, if we actually try it uh, after after a period of time it will be uh, allowed okay so let's continue with this subdomain so the next actually part right here is to just click on emails as you can see automatically actually the, um, the web hosting account is uh, trying to generate um, emails for our new uh, subdomains as well but as you can see right here the setup is not finished yet so I will click on manage to our first subdomain the Facebook one okay so right now it will ask us uh, about what uh, what kind of package I will go with the free email package right here select this one okay right now let's add for example Facebook security or you can for example security alert anything actually or maybe security team you can actually add add anything right here as you want and it checks this and uh, for for example I will choose this password okay this is actually the recovery email address okay so the account um, the email account actually has been created successfully so right now it's uh, telling us uh, what is uh, uh, sending the login details of, um, of it right now okay access the web the mail 
okay to access the web mail you can access it actually from this side or you can access it from inside the main dashboard you can actually instead of using this okay or click uh, I will do it later don't worry because I will show you how you can access uh, all of this kind of stuff also in um, in the previous one okay so as you can see right here this is the mailbox of our of our email address and the next step actually is to um, insert our our HTML uh, phishing uh, email template that we created and uh, actually this part is a very very tricky part okay so how you you can do something like this look look what I am going to do so right here I'm going to click on compose and I'm going to back to our hacking machine and I'm going to open this file with any text editor right here okay copy everything inside this file okay that's it back again to our mailbox and right here I will select any any email address that I have and the, the subject will be Facebook security alert and right here look if you for example insert the HTML code like this it will not work okay and of course it will be suspended and it will be blocked by the gmail or by the outlook application it doesn't matter what uh, what kind of um, of email client applications that our victim is is using right now but uh, any of this actually will be blocked okay so how we can do something like this we will remove all of this and type any any message text message right here and after that we will click right click and we will click on inspect like we did before in the previous video okay very well so after after we click on inspect let's click on the selector right here the selector arrow and just mark mark as the, the selected message right here after you select on this message as you can see right here we have found the HTML source code of this message so let's right click on it and click edit as HTML okay very well so this is the message so I will remove this part the message only text okay so this is one this is the, the text message only and I will paste our HTML code and that's it and I will close the respect right here as you can see right now our phishing email template is is displaying but as you can see sometimes uh, that that happening actually uh, so for example you will see uh, this um, uh, the, uh, this icon is uh, is not you know stretched enough and uh, and for example so some mistakes will you will find as you can see um, uh, because I am installing the Grammarly extension to fix or to detect any any grammar mistakes so I will fix any of these grammar mistakes and right here to fix this problem I will do the following I will just make some space right here okay so it has been fixed so I will just have um, have to you know to, to fix all of this kind of stuff until everything will be good okay so uh, of course uh, maybe maybe these mistakes will not happen in another in another uh, client uh, you know email sender uh, email sender um, uh, software so because right now I'm using the email uh, 
the email account of uh, of hosting or maybe if you are uh, using another another email uh, email center software like gmail or any kind of stuff maybe this mistake will not happen okay but i'm telling you how to deal with this kind of stuff so right now i will just click on send and after that i will open my gmail account to test uh, and, and uh, investigate what is really happening okay so as you can see i wait just um, some um, some seconds because uh, after you create you know a new sub account and a new um, a new email account of course that will uh, will require you know sometimes uh, for the dns records to be uh, established uh, so after everything um, is going wrong uh, the email has been uh, sent to my gmail account and as you can see right here uh, when i open the email address on the other hand i i um, i'm getting this red um, uh, this red eye icon right here so it's telling you the victim has has opened actually the email address so it's a very very uh, good uh, uh, good feature because the normal email email accounts actually the normal email softwares is not um, uh, containing this feature so uh, knowing knowing when uh, when the, the victim is opening the email address or not something very very good because maybe uh, your your email address is not um, uh, is not opened yet by the victim so you have to wait a little bit okay of course if you upgrade uh, upgrade this you will uh, you will get a notification when uh, your um, uh, you, you receive uh, your receiver person uh, open uh, open your account you open your email of course okay so right here i'm going back i'm going to open my gmail account and as you can see right here this is the phishing the phishing email that we have received and it's it's not actually listed in the spam because i told you we didn't we didn't use any malicious or any uh, or any phishing domain because of that uh, of that reason actually our uh, our email address wasn't um, uh, listed and wasn't uh, you know uh, catch it and uh, and saved in the spam directory okay it's not actually in the spam so this is actually the most important thing that i wanted to share with you as you can see this is the same email that we have created and of course um, that is very very um, trusted and because it's not you know uh, saved at the spam and the, all of the people actually is always uh, think about um, the phishing and the hacking emails uh, it will be, it will not be allowed and it will be blocked by google and by gmail by default and even apple has um, has a very a very good security uh, feature for this so all of the victims actually nowadays is thinking that uh, their email uh, their email accounts uh, is very very protected from the spam or the phishing email addresses and of course as you can see it's not um, it's not it's not wrong at all because actually uh, at this kind of reason uh, uh, as you can see we have generated and bypassed all of these security restrictions and uh, for the record this part actually will not be uh, displayed in the in the mobile phone so because i am actually opening opening the gmail the gmail website uh, from my browser or my desktop uh, view so you can see this part but actually in the in the in the real life scenarios when the victim is opening this uh, this email from his uh, his mobile uh, his mobile device only only the header the subject will be displayed and also the body the body and the content of the email address without without this part at all okay except of course if uh, if the person uh, clicked and expanded the um, uh, this part to see the email address or uh, the sender email address of course 